Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers should use caution when viewing this film as it may contain images and voices of deceased persons. Yeah, to believe what, what you see, you know, and what, what we've achieved. But we've worked together. Jimmy, uh, late Jimmy and Walter, we worked together. And they, we, we looked at each other's idea, you know, what, what we're trying to achieve, what we're aiming for. And we, we picked it up. Now, Jimmy said, look, I'm not here to work for, for myself. I'm here for the future generation. We had faith in, in, the, uh, in the staff that we worked with. And that it was tireless work by, by the staff. There was a lot of work and a lot of money put into it. And uh, I just can't thank them enough for, for really what, what they've done and what they've done to the TV people. He's dancing there, they had that Okamani ceremony. And most of them people who died, né? they were the leaders. They'd be happy that with this plantation and this wood chip going out, and the new port, and plus, like, you know, there's good that TV people doing something to get our people of welfare and create more jobs for uh, young people and you know. The old people said to me and my members on the land council, we got to attract visitors and investors to come to the island for land development, land tenure, to benefit all TV. It's a dream from our old people that was there. Mission statement they said to me and my members, we got to carry our people with us wherever we go. We got to make sure every family and they have children to have jobs. It's very important. You know, because sitting down, unemployment is no good. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> people get sick, get lazy. Welcome back, listeners. This is Radio Finny, 22 come on, give us a hand coming here. to you live from the sunny Tiwi Island. In the studio, we have B2M. <laughs> Well, all this is set up by our leaders, our old leaders have passed away, and this is their dream to have um, established this community up in terms of, you know, um, getting our people into jobs and running our own economy, businesses, encouraging other clan groups. It's about um, being stronger and having that vision for the future, for the children and for the whole community because we all benefit from it, not just the TOs, it's the communities. Yep, a real job on the island, that can people stay and work on the island, such as the college.
Wow. Wow. And the and the plantations. With the port itself, generate the jobs for people to go and work for a real, real job. Leasing a land is not about keeping it all away, it's about developing jobs and economy for everybody for the benefit of the people. Because the government won't keep on handing out everything, keeping us, so we have to start doing our own business on the island. The older people in the past, they stayed firm and they said never give up. We want this forestry project happen. And we we nearly there, nearly there, and I'm really happy with what they did, and uh, I'm gonna continue on what they left off. For all Tiwis. Um, and a lot of people that have been involved with it, it's been a long time coming and it has really, you know, a really great sense of relief more or less when we actually saw the actual opening and I think it's going to be a fabulous thing for all Tiwis, I think. Yeah, I'd like to see more Tiwis get involved in this. Money and, you know, nice to work and get to meet different people, meet them, talk to them, make friends, you know, and welcome them in my country. Do the training today, the truck. We're doing a training with Lockie, driver training. Ready for that uh, big truck for the harvester. I've been here for nine years uh, working on this project and I do that because I believe in this project. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the Tiwi elders and the support that they gave early on in these projects and they actually believed in it. Tiwi stood up and said, we'll take this on, this is our future. You know, forestry's a long time association with this island and Tiwis, and now it's coming back and they're starting to line their pockets and I, I really feel glad for them, you know, they're in the right, they had the right mindset and they're really trying to do something about it, which is great. I think back in the early days we, we went down, you know, we, we've been, you know, with the executive team and, and the support of the elders, we've been halfway around the world to seek investors to bring back here. You know, we've been down to places like Albany where they've got a major forest with blue gum. Um, we've seen the stockpiles there and just going down to the port reminded me of those trips. Um, it's actually coming into fruit and um, you know, we, we haven't got 20 metres high of wood chip yet, but it's getting there. We've got trucks running 24-7 and Tiwi's working, involved and, and uh, are living in the camps there. Um, they're enjoying it um, and the port's getting ready to start shipping out and we're just anxious to see the ship come in actually. Yep, uh, we almost it, almost there and um, should be long now, we should be getting our first a shipment from the harbour that we're doing, actually doing now, and that uh, wood chip to overseas, to Asia. Now we got um, scientists from Melbourne and university and trying to work with us and trying to keep that partnership with, together to, to work with, with the land and so we can protect all the species. We got some people, some rangers, land rangers, locals working to check up donuts, goss hawks and all that. So in certain areas. So we're trying to keep good impact for every species to protect. It was us land rangers, I think 
you know, when we talk about environmental and or with our job at land management, we're making sure we want to do, you know, we want to try and keep the place like free of uh, pests and weeds and sometimes it'll take over years, but it's about, you know, making sure, you know, we do the proper process. We haven't gone shortcut at all, we haven't, because I mean, it's Good pointless. Day trying to go shortcut because the authorities say, well, you haven't done this, and then we have to go back. But we haven't gone shortcut at all. We've, had, we've employed an uh, uh, environmentalist, been there for 20 odd years, and uh, we're happy, you know, that, uh, that we've got someone that, uh, that would do, do the work and uh, be able to do what, uh, what's required by, by the authorities. The protection of the environment is something that's very integral, so it's not something that's tacked onto the end. So it's, it's very much not about, let's develop the land for jobs and education. I oh, want to be better think about the environment too. Tiwi have never lost the connection to their land, ever. So there's, they've never been through a land rights process. Um, there's never been a question about um, who owns the land. And the connections to authority to land is, is it, it describes who a person is. It's where they fit within society, it's how they relate to other people. So it's just an integral part of every person's personality is attached in some way to the land. Another day in paradise, the Barraboy. I can see a rainbow on earth, bright, bright, sunshine day. Oh yeah. Ooh. And the colors are beautiful in the world, red. The environment is something that's always there. It, it's not necessarily something that's. Um, spoken about a lot or out in the open because it's already there and so the environmental management is there and then the business and the investment is what's put on top of that. The older Tiwis always said we can develop some of our land um, and when you think about it 97% of the Tiwi Islands is undeveloped so um, they've said we can develop up to 10% of our land to provide a life for our people. So it's just understood that that the environment is is looked after and protected and, and everything has to fit into that and it needs to be done properly. We started to move forward. There's a big project on the Tiwi Islands, and let's give everyone a chance to do something. We all work together to achieve something for all people. We're trying to do something for our people and it's to work with a lot of people if we can work together and, and to develop, to develop, you know, something for these people to, to get off welfare and with the support of the government, it's got us go or, you know, it's, it's just good for our people and good for both parties. Investors uh, want to come and talk to us, so we can make sure that other people around Australia, around the world, to see, to come and see this, what we investment is all about. Because it's very important we get people from outside to see what we're doing, and the investors will know that we can work together side by side. The good relationship we got with them, the better and we're going to attract more investment on the TVs. I'd be happy if um, 
if people want to invest money on, on the Tiwi Islands, provide that they do the right thing, you know, not, not just come and splash money in and uh, bribe my people to do things. They come here and do things properly, you know, and, and uh, look at the future of the, of the uh, TV people. And that is work, work hard and not, not bribe my people. I think more investments will create more jobs and understanding of how we live and how we work and we can do it in both worlds, working and talking. I think things will work the way it is now. Tiwi Island is a unique place and it's a special place for us TV people and we're not shutting Tiwi Island away from anyone. We have to attract investors. I like to talk to other people about our land. We need investors to come and invest on our land. You will be in the land camp of the Mitchell.